Okay, throw the thread on the hook here. I'm going to select four micro bits. And I want these about the same length as the hook shank. Tie those in. I'm going to wrap back. Back to the barb. I'm going to split these guys so I have two on each side. I'm going to bring the thread back around, forcing the ones towards me to come out. I'm going to go over the top and away from me. So you should have a nice split. Clip the rest there. I'm going to do a very sparse body of dubbing here. Some fine and dry. And I'm going to taper the dubbing about two thirds of the way up. So notice again, I'm using a very sparse amount. I'll just build this up a little bit to the point just before I put the wing in. I'm going to select a couple pieces of CDC here. Um, might even do three. He can have a pretty decent sized wing on here. Line the tips up. And I'm going to go about to the back of the hook here. Tie those guys down and clip the butts. I've got some um, medium done CDC, or excuse me, Zelon. And I'm going to get a little chunk of it, not a whole wide um, piece, but maybe about a quarter. And this is going to be blended into the um, wing and also on the side so it's pretty much going to act more like um, legs on this so I'm going to start tying one side in towards me and the other side away so I'll wrap back on that other side so I'm kind of half in half out of the wing of CDC um, I can come in right now, trim these a little shorter than the wing. Then again, I'll kind of splay those off on the side. Use that thread to reinforce the Zelon to where I want it. Then I'm just going to add a touch more dubbing on the head to cover up my thread. Finish that guy off. That's our bug. Mm -hmm.